My sister asked me the other day if I could make a chair and a love seat out of her old broken down couch. The only thing we reused was the cushions and pillows. I found a simple design she liked on Anna White's website and modified it to fit the cushions. I constructed all these pieces from dimensional lumber, 2x4s, 2x6s, and 1x4s, all pine from the local big box store. I started with the bases and started by cutting all my 2x lumber to length per my cut list. Once all my pieces were cut, I went through and marked them as to what they were and what ends needed pocket holes. Then I was on to the tedious task of drilling pocket holes. After setting up my jig and bit, I began the drilling. And I eventually attached my shot back as I was making a mess. Yes, there are many, many pocket holes in this project, and I did my best to put them in places where they would be hidden. Once all my pocket holes were done, I began assembly, starting with the legs. I do have a cordless drill, but this electric drill works a whole lot better when you have this many pocket holes and drilling these big screws in. Here I used some scraps to make spacer blocks. This ensured all four legs were even. At this point I dry fitted the 2x6 pieces and attach them later once I have my stretcher pieces in place, just to make sure everything lined up well. And then it was time to tie the legs together and make it into a seat. So first I assembled the chair frame and then I went on to the love seat frame.
So to figure out the angle for this back piece on the bottom of the seat, I simply put it in place at the right distance from the front rail and then used the straight edge and tilted it until it contacted the top of the back rail and then screwed it in place. I tried to explain it as I was recording, but the audio wasn't very good. And I used the same process for the love seat. The one straight edge you see with the pocket holes at the end was a center support for the love seat. And of course there was a lot of sanding involved. I started with 80 grit, then went to 120, and then to 220. This flat dolly came in really handy for this. I eventually put a rubberized padding on it to keep the screws in the top from marring up my pieces. For the finish I used Minwax Poly Shades and the colors Mahogany. I applied three coats with the light sanding in between. This was a very tedious process here. I did not put the poly shades on every surface, only what was visible and maybe a little beyond that. And then I topped it all with a coat of wax. One thing I like about the poly shades is that you can apply multiple coats and it goes on pretty even on soft woods. While I do my work, I use my Isotunes earbuds and listen to the radio streaming through my phone. I really like these earbuds. Maybe someday they'll sponsor me. So now onto the unique part of this build. I decided I wanted to try a canvas for the seat support to give it some cushion. Whereas the plans called for 1x4 slats, which I think would be pretty hard to sit on for a long time. So I picked up a painter's drop cloth and then I ended up doubling it over and using basically two sheets for each one. So I ripped some 2x4s into 2x2s and those were my supports for this canvas around the perimeter. I started with the front piece and I stapled the canvas to it wrapping it around on three sides with staples on at least two sides. I put a lot of staples in these things. I then clamped the front piece in place and drilled some holes through it and screwed it to the frame. I then stretched it down to the back piece, stretching it as tight as I could, wrapping the 2x2 two two in it and stapling it to it, and then I used the screws to pull it even tighter and stretch it as much as I could. Then on the sides I put the 2x2s two in and did the same method, except I didn't really stretch it too much on the sides because all the stretching was done front to back.
We tested these out and the canvas does stretch a little bit and has some give, so it's nice to sit on. I'm curious how these will hold up in the long run. If there are any changes, I'll pin a comment down below, so check those out. Because the love seat has this extra support in the center, I had to notch the back support for the canvas to keep the same recline as the chair. And the final piece to build was the back supports. This is all 1x4s, with obviously horizontals across top and bottom, and then vertical slats spaced basically a 1x4 width apart. My sister came over to help with those. We glued and screwed all the pieces together, and then I finished them. And once the finish was done and I put a coat of wax on them, I screwed them to the bases. And finally, I was able to deliver them. These should last a really long time. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell. And check us out at the Maker Shack on Facebook.